If you've been struggling to fall asleep or stay asleep, try listening to a guided meditation tonight on the Sleep Meditation for Women podcast. Meditations are a natural, easy way to quiet your mind and relax your body so you can get the sleep you need. Every night, Sleep Meditation for Women provides a new episode from body relaxations to guided visualizations and even dedicated sleep sounds. Listen for free now by searching Sleep Meditation for Women on your favorite podcast player and begin sleeping better tonight. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2202. Branch Chain Amino Acids, Six Things You Need to Know by Summer Banks of dietspotlight.com. And I'm your host and narrator, Dr. Neil Malik. Happy Wednesday and welcome back to Optimal Health Daily where I read to you from popular health and fitness blogs to help you optimize your health, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. Now, today is Wednesday, and like I do every Wednesday, I like to share a little bit of inspiration with you. So, here we go. Quote, To be happy, drop the words, if only, and substitute instead the words, next time. Dr. Smiley Blanton, psychiatrist. All right, now with that, now that we're in the right frame of mind, Let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Branch Chain Amino Acids, Six Things You Need to Know by Summer Banks of dietspotlight.com. Branch chain amino acids refer to three amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. For those who don't eat a lot of dietary protein, supplementation can assist with muscle protein creation and increase your muscle growth over time. You can also use supplementation to prevent fatigue, especially in novice athletes. Leucine plays a critical role in muscle protein development. Isoleucine induces glucose uptake into the cells. When it comes to valine, more research is needed to determine its role in branched-chain amino acid supplements. Your body cannot produce these amino acids on its own, which means you must get them from your diet. This is where the term essential amino acids comes from. What are branched-chain amino acids and why you need them? Supplementing with branched-chain amino acids prevents a serum decline in branched-chain amino acids, which happens during exercise. A serum decline normally causes a tryptophan influx into the brain, followed by serotonin production, which leads to fatigue. Not only do they promote muscle growth and repair, but can also reduce muscle soreness after exercise. And while they can make you feel less tired after a workout, they won't improve your athletic performance. It's important to make sure you're getting enough branched-chain amino acids on a daily basis, but many protein sources already provide these branched-chain amino acids. Supplementation isn't necessary for people who are already eating 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Dieting, however, can lead to muscle breakdown for several reasons. The leaner your body becomes, the more likely it is to lose skeletal muscle as it tries harder and harder to hold on to its fat stores. Your body will begin to turn to muscle to satisfy its energy needs, which is bad news for anyone who is trying to increase muscle mass. Muscle loss occurs because the body increases protein breakdown to liberate muscle amino acids for metabolic fuel. Levels of protein synthesis will also decrease because of reduced energy intake. Working out compounds the effects of dieting, because the leaner you get, the more lethargic you can become. Decreasing your energy intake and glycogen storage can make for some rough training sessions. If you're too tired or too weak to live the way your body is used to, your muscles will adapt, and they won't use as much energy to get the work done. This means you won't increase the muscle in your body, and your body could end up using the lean muscle you do have for energy, because it isn't used to lifting such a heavy load. Branched chain amino acids not only increase protein synthesis, but help reduce protein breakdown to help keep you losing weight while gaining lean muscle. Branched chain amino acids are responsible for a large portion of your blood sugar production during your workout. This can be important if you work out on an empty stomach or if you're on a calorie restricted diet. How many branched chain amino acids do you need? The standard dose for isoleucine is 48 to 72 milligrams per kilogram of body weight for those with obesity. The standard leucine dosage is between 2 to 10 grams per kilogram of body weight. Then there's a combination dose of 
20 grams of combined branched-chain amino acids with a balanced ratio of leucine and isoleucine. More research is needed to determine optimal dosage for valine and reasons for supplementation. Again, branched-chain amino acid supplementation isn't necessary if you're getting enough through your diet. Your needs will depend on some factors, including your size and the intensity of your workouts, which is why it's a good idea to talk to an expert before you make any drastic changes to your diet. When to eat branched-chain amino acids. You don't need to eat branched-chain amino acids before every workout. It's better to eat them before doing any kind of strength training or resistance training than it is for cardiovascular training. During any type of intense exercise, your muscles will tear slightly and then repair, which helps them grow stronger in the process. That's when you need branched-chain amino acids. It's a good idea to time your meals around your workout, so you eat within an hour of finishing. It's worth trying to see if you have any more energy and less fatigue and soreness. You can get all the branched chain amino acids you need by consuming a three to four ounce serving of cooked animal protein. It's less about the volume of branched chain amino acids and more about the timing of when you eat them. If you don't eat meat, there are a lot of good low calorie supplements available. Many are made with vegetarian friendly protein options. It's best to pay close attention to product labeling to ensure that you're getting both a decent ratio of branched-chain amino acids and a relatively clean product that doesn't have any additional sweeteners, chemicals, or dyes. Food sources of branched-chain amino acids. These foods contain all three types of branched-chain amino acids in one serving. Eggs, Greek yogurt, lean beef, flank steak, cod, whitefish, haddock, canned tuna, wild salmon, trout, chicken breast, and turkey breast. You can also find a decent amount of branched chain amino acids in other foods such as brown rice, chickpeas, lima beans, quinoa, whole wheat, peanuts, almonds, and Brazil nuts. Bottom line on branched chain amino acids. Overall, incorporating branched chain amino acids into your diet can be beneficial. Although some research shows it can help improve exercise performance and strength, Branched-chain amino acids on their own aren't enough to cause weight loss. Instead, it may be best to incorporate branched-chain amino acids as part of a more comprehensive diet. You just listened to the post titled Branched-chain amino acids, six things you need to know by Summer Banks of dietspotlight.com. This episode is brought to you by La Quinta by Wyndham. Wherever your work takes you, you know it's going to be a good time because you're staying at La Quinta by Wyndham. They have free breakfast, fully equipped gyms, and free high-speed Wi-Fi to help you take care of any last-minute business or help keep you in the know on all things sports. Tonight, La Quinta. Tomorrow, you triumph. Book your stay today at LQ.com. With increased premiums, larger deductibles, and claims denials becoming more common, health insurance is broken. This is exactly why CrowdHealth was created. With CrowdHealth, your $50 a month membership includes the tools and services you need to get the highest quality healthcare. You'll get access to telemedicine visits, discounted prescriptions, and more without doctors' networks messing things up. Plus, you'll have access to your own personal care advocate who will help you navigate the complexities of health events and even help negotiate bills. And of course, you'll join the crowd a group of members just like you who want to help pay for each other's unexpected medical events. It's time you opt out of restrictive health insurance plans and let CrowdHealth help fit your healthcare needs. Get started today for just $50 per month. Use code OHD to get the healthcare you deserve. Mandatory disclaimer, CrowdHealth is not insurance. Learn more at joincrowdhealth.com. That's joincrowdhealth.com, code OHD. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. You've probably heard me talk about protein timing before. Say, you're performing resistance training and want to maximize your performance, muscle repair, and muscle growth all at the same time. I've mentioned that consuming protein-rich foods after the workout, along with some carbohydrates, is really important. But in today's article, you heard today's author Summer mention that consuming some branched-chain amino acids before a workout may be helpful. So what gives? Okay, first, let me just say, this goes to show that we still don't know everything there is to know about sports nutrition. I've attended conferences and heard conflicting information 
from one session to the next all the time. Second, if you're feeling exasperated by all of this conflicting information, bear with me here. When we look at the overall message of most of these studies, especially as it relates to protein consumption, it seems that two factors may be most important. One, get enough total protein throughout the day to meet your body's needs. And two, space your protein-containing meals and snacks out throughout the day instead of packing all of the protein in before and after your workouts. If you can do these two things consistently, you're probably helping your body maximize the protein you're consuming and help direct it to muscle repair and muscle growth. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be back tomorrow as usual, where your optimal life awaits.